What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is John Paul Investing. Guys, I just received a brand new email from Nano Dimension. This is for the general meeting of shareholders that is supposed to be held on February 15th, 2021. This meeting will be held around 4 p.m. Israel time, which is around 8 a.m. Central Standard Time or 9 a.m. about uh, 30 minutes after market open Eastern Standard Time. So 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The notice of meeting that was sent to us uh, is not very long. To summarize it, it essentially is telling us that uh, the $1 billion that they raised is not enough and they are encouraging shareholders to vote to increase the company's registered share capital or basically issuing more stock in the company. So I'm just going to bring the documents to the table for you guys to see immediately. And, uh, you know, this is something that we can discuss in the comments if you guys are, you know, seeing this as a good thing or a bad thing. I will add that in the notice, they are telling us to vote to approve it because uh, it is in our best interest, according to them, to let them raise as much money as possible to have, I guess, more choices for acquisition. Following the approval of the company's board of directors, the shareholders of the company are requested to approve an increase to the company's authorized share capital by NIS $1.25 billion, the increase of share capital. Accordingly, after giving effect to the increase of share capital, the authorized share capital of the company will be NIS $2.5 billion divided into $500 million ordinary share shares par value NIS $5 each. As of today, one American depository share uh, represents one ordinary share in the company. It used to not be that way. So essentially, they're just going to add a ton more shares. Basically, they're asking us shareholders the right to issue more shares in order to raise more money for the company. Following the company's most recent registered direct offering of 35 million ordinary shares represented by American depository shares that closed on January 19, 2021, the company only has approximately 18 million ordinary shares available for issuance. The board of directors believes that this increase of share capital is appropriate and in the best interest of the company's shareholders, especially considering that the company is in the process of evaluating certain acquisition opportunities. The shareholders of the company are requested to adopt the following resolution. Resolved to approve the increase of share capital by NIS $1.25 billion to NIS $2.5 billion divided into the $500 million ordinary shares, par value NIS $5 each. And to amend the company's amended and restated articles of association to affect the same as set forth in the proxy statement. Except as mentioned otherwise in this proxy statement, if no specification is made in your vote, the proxy will be voted in favor of the proposal described in this proxy statement. So here is the document here. I believe it is the last three pages of the uh, of the notice. And uh, basically this is where you will put your votes and such. So once you do place your vote, you have until February 10th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to uh, submit your vote for them to receive your vote. And we all know how slow mail is. So basically we have between four and five days to really make a decision here. Also, one more important thing to note is that the quora or the minimum number of people who are uh, able to be at the shareholder meeting for the meeting to be valid, two or more shareholders present personally or by proxy holding not less than 25% of the company's outstanding ordinary shares shall constitute a quorum for the meeting. If within half an hour of the time the meeting is convened, a quorum is not present or the minimum is not met, the adjourned meeting shall be held on the same day, February 15th at 5.30 p.m. Israel time. If a quorum is not present at the adjourned meeting later on in the day, within half an hour from the time appointed for such meeting or 6 p.m. that day, any number of shareholders present personally or by proxy shall be deemed a quorum and shall be entitled to deliberate and resolve in respect of the matter for which the meeting was convened. So basically this means that if not enough people show up to the investor meeting, that means whoever is present at the second meeting later on in the day is more than enough to, you know, decide what's going to happen with the company. So if, you know, only a few people decide to show up, then those few people have power to decide what happens in the company. So I believe YouTube is a powerful tool, guys. So I think we should all deliberate here in the comment section and figure out exactly what we want to do. Do we want Nano Dimension to raise more money or do we want them to stick with what they got? We have to have good reasons as to why we uh, why we make these decisions. So I think we all should deliberate in the comment section and figure out what we want to do and why. 
Now, I will say I have never been involved in something like this, and it's actually kind of exciting to be able to have a say in what the company is going to do going forward. Uh, I personally think that if they're going to raise more money, then they would essentially just have more options because they have the IP already or intellectual property. I'm not convinced it's a bad idea, but unless you guys can convince me otherwise why this would be a, you know, a terrible idea for them to issue more shares, please let me know. Again, guys, this is our chance to deliberate and figure out what exactly we would like Nano Dimension to do. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. If you liked what you're watching, please go ahead and hit that like button. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified when I make videos just like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.